wire everything up. Typically what we use is we use uh, two packs. This is uh, two 3S batteries that I have here. Um, basically we have two different ones. We wire them in series and these you can get relatively cheap. Uh, you go 3S, 2 3S, 2 4S, um, 2 5S, or 2 6S. Just make sure that you have a capable ESC of handling the total voltage that you need. So this is here. Oh, one thing to note, these are 4 millimeter HXT wires. These are my standard plugs that I like to use. Um, you could use anything, just make sure your series connector has the same uh, connectors. The connectors are nothing except for specific connectors that pass through um, electrical current and basically they just depending on the size of the actual connector they have certain amp requirements. These 4 millimeter HXTs are good enough for what we need them for. So the next piece for wiring everything up is you need a series connector. This is a series connector here. This series connector is uh, custom made for this purpose. Uh, more experienced pre people could actually uh, simply just buy the two 4mm HXT connectors and then buy the actual just cable separately and then solder everything in. It does make sense to buy the pre-installed bullet connectors and you can just uh, connect it to the tip. Those you can find on Hobby King. Um, on my cables I like to use 5.5 millimeter bullets for the opposite ends. These two ends go into our on and off switch. That makes it easier for you to turn on and off your board. So this here is the series connector. This is the high voltage 12 at or up to 14S on off switch. The part with the LED end, this one here, is going to be on the battery end. So it's going to face this way, facing towards the battery here. This side, these two here, are going to plug into the ESC's discharge wires or towards the battery. So we're going to go ahead and connect these to the end of the on-off switch, the part with the no LED, LED, LEDs on this side. So we're going to plug it into here first. So we'll plug this in. You do want to watch out and make sure once you connect the actual battery that the connectors aren't, aren't going to... Uh, cross uh, short circuit. So here we have it connected. You can also see sometimes the connectors will have a little bit of copper shown. Eventually what you want to do is you either want to heat shrink over this or you want to put electrical tape over this. By doing so this will allow you to not have any shorts on accident in case these two wires touch. And you do not want these two wires to touch. So the next part, this is the LED side. You're going to have these two wires here on the LED to plug into your 4 millimeter HXT series cable. You're going to take this in, plug it in here, take this in, plug it in here. So if this was an actual setup, what I would do is... find it now but I would take electrical tape and I'd put it on these two ends here to cover them up I'd wrap it around it also helps so the connectors don't come undone when they're on your board these two here see there's a little copper exposed little copper exposed I'd wrap these up too that way they won't pull out too when, they'll only pull out when you want them to so the way these are hooked up is the battery gets hooked up last. I always hook up the battery last. You want to make sure all your connections from the ESC to the battery are proper. And once these are all proper, then you can connect them properly. So we'll take this. I'm going to plug in 
one first. You want to make sure the ends are correct. So if you look here, this is how they plug in properly. And then they'll fit in easily. So now take the other side, and then you're going to plug this one in. You want to make sure that it's at an off position. There should be no light or not pushed in. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. There you go. You could plug it in all the way, of course. And then once you have your battery plugged in, you turn on your switch, and now the power goes to your ESC. Now turn it off. Wait a few seconds, and then the light will dim out. There you go. So basically that's how you connect your wires for your electrical setup. And usually what I do when I'm done, I go ahead and unplug this, make sure it's off, unplug one, unplug the other. Then you're good to go. Now you know, because there's no current flowing through the wires, there's going to be no short circuit through this setup.